spring is now. You are the flowers. You are the love. You are our butterflies. May all lost loves be found. May you open your hearts and bloom into shapes and beauty unbound. Like the flowers, may you burst through the surface and find the sun. Welcome. together some of your videos as you know and if you sent a video in and it's not part of what we put together it's simply because we had technical problems but we tried to put as many in as we could yeah. we did um so we just want you to know that you're all part of the show this time and yeah you, and you guys had so many amazing things to let go of and go towards and it was really beautiful it was very inspiring yeah. and uh we put some um in our stories yesterday, some of the videos on in our IG stories. We're going to try and put a few more uh, later on today. So more of you are going to be in our stories. Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> because we're all part of the same one story. story. One <laughs> big spring burst forward story. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, we've all been hiding in our cocoons because it's been a hell of a year. Let's face it. And uh, the whole message of this show was about letting go of the past and moving into a new chapter mm. in our lives. Yeah, that's right. In yeah. your life. So thank you for being here. And now, Joseph, isn't it gorgeous, right? It was worth the wait, guys. What, what are you doing? <laughs> the treatments. Oh, my hair. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Someone said Joseph's hair, and I said... Because when I wake up, it's like that. And then it takes three hours to like... like that in the beginning. When I wake up, it's... Woo! It's like that flower. <laughs> it's like the flower that it blooms. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... Aww. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Alyssa. Alyssa! Happy birthday, Alyssa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. So we're going to be reading um, from the chat board later on. Yeah. But right now I know we have a beautiful show ready. Um, Joseph is going to read some spring poems. Oh, yeah. Becca um, and I are going to do a little art. Mm. Um, and we have this beautiful projection show for you. Hi, Paula. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Paula. Hi, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Ella. Thank you. Hello, Ella Wolf Girl. Hello, Ella. A projection show for you. Hi, Paula. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Paula. Hi, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Ella. Thank you. Hello, Ella Wolf Girl. Hello, Ella. Love your video. We know all of you. Like, know it's you. so cool because we really have gotten to know you guys over the time of doing these stages. Like, yeah. I know what you look like, you know. Yeah. You know where you're from. What country you're from. Really what cool. language you speak. Yeah. 
Oh, it's so wonderful. And there's so many countries here. Yeah. Um, I think I realized that from the video. There's I know, yeah, so it's people. amazing. Yeah. We're global. We're global, guys. This is a global Morgan White event. So. Okay, yeah, I'm going to start begin. us off with Sonnet 98 by William Shakespeare. From you, I have been absent in the spring. I'm going to start again. From you, I have been absent in the spring. When proud pied April, dressed in all his trim, hath put a spirit of youth in everything. That heavy satin laughed and leaped with him. Yet nor the lays of birds nor the sweet smell Of different flowers in odour and in hue Could make me any summer's story tell Or from their proud lap pluck them where they grew. Nor did I wonder at the lilies white nor praise the deep vermilion in the rose. They were but sweet, but figures of delight. Drawn after you, you pattern of all those. Yet seemed it winter still, and you away, as with your shadow I with these did play. That's Sonnet 98, guys, by William Shakespeare. If you haven't heard of him, he's look him up. Cool. He's pretty good. He's kind of famous. Yeah, kind of famous. <laughs> um, I did a few Shakespeare plays back in college. Did Romeo and Juliet and uh, King Lear and Midsummer Night's Dream. Some of the classics. And Hamlet as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, I love a bit of Shakespeare. So, I'm going to do one more poem while these guys paint, and then maybe we'll have a look at some letters. Okay. Oh, okay, here's a good one. This is Wordsworth, William Wordsworth. And this is Lines Written in Early Spring. Another William for you guys. I heard a thousand blended notes while in a grove I sat reclined in that sweet mood when pleasant thoughts bring sad thoughts to the mind. To her fair works did nature link the human soul that through me ran and much it grieved my heart to think what man has made of man. Through primrose tufts in that green bower, the periwinkle trailed its wreaths, and tis my faith that every flower enjoys the air it breathes. The birds around me hopped and played, their thoughts I cannot measure, but the least motion which they made, it seemed a thrill of pleasure. The budding twigs spread out their fan to catch the breezy air and I must think do all I can that there was pleasure there if this belief from heaven be sent if such nature's holy plan have I not reason to lament what man has made of man It's a beautiful poem. That's beautiful. By Wordsworth. Isn't it lovely? It's worth a lot of beautiful words. <laughs> what <laughs> words are worth? <laughs> so let's have a look at the chat board now. Because I want to acknowledge a few.
few of you guys. Persia and Mecca, you are so talented, says Rebecca. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank, thank you, Rebecca. You. Yeah. Thank you guys for all your kind words. Truly appreciate that. Um, from Iran, I'm seeing Iran up on the board. Sri Lanka. <laughs> India. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few more poems coming up, but I'm trying to spread them out a bit, guys. I don't want to overwhelm you with poetry because the senses will be too enticed. Yeah, or you could. Just in case, like you said. Case, I saw a few people saying in there that they didn't want theirs read, but so I saw what you, your name. What do I you have this. there, Mecca? We have some letters that you guys wrote in. And answers to your que our questions. Yeah, the butterfly. Yeah. And what were the butterfly questions for anyone who's unaware? It was. If you're unaware, um, we have this thing called the Butterfly Awards, and basically we'll be looking at the chat board too. But we asked people in this spring, in this season of change, what are you letting go of, and what are you flying towards? Yeah. Mm. And uh, like the butterfly sheds its cocoon, I think all the past uh, we need to shed. And that's what the message was about. What are you letting go of and what are you moving toward? What do you want to embrace? Yeah. And so we had some of the most beautiful answers. And uh, I think more than ever, <laughs> we, were, we had tears in our eyes. We, we all need this. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing. We're going to read some of them out. But we're not going to say names because we don't, we don't want, yeah. want to um, accidentally put anyone on the spot. Respect or your privacy. We want to, yes. yeah, respect yeah. people's privacy. So, yeah. do, I, do this one? Or you go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Here, let me step to the side. Can we put the light? Hey, guys. <laughs> so, this one says, I let go of negativity and low self-esteem, and I fly towards positivity, self-love, and inner peace. I think that's amazing. I saw a lot of these had to do with low self-esteem and not feeling like enough, and I think we all can relate to that somewhat. And so, striving to have more self-love and um, inner peace is something I really... I'm working on as well, so I think that's amazing. Um, Layla, Miss Layla. Uh, <laughs> oh, I hope she doesn't mind. But I let go of hurt, pain, and self hatred, and I think that's amazing. Uh, I fly towards health, happiness, love, and achievements, and I think we should all be doing that. Um, so amazing. And. Yeah, to do one more. <laughs> yeah. I think it's it's really hard, you know, like in the world we live in right now and everything going on and comparison and we all, I just I kept seeing the same thing over and over in these letters of self hatred and like not feeling enough and you you are like we all are. You're so enough. You're more than enough and recognizing that is so important and Trying not to compare yourself to others is um, huge. So, well done on going towards the light and letting go of all that negativity. Um, oh, I have a painter back there. Uh, <laughs> okay, this was this one's really beautiful. As a new bloomed butterfly, I shed the toxicity falls. My wings open and I fly towards the meadow full of light and clarity. I thought that was really beautiful. Um, sending, sending all your love. Thank you. We love you back. <laughs> um, and this one was cool, I thought. Uh, I let go of always saying yes. I fly towards putting my self-care first. I think that's really important uh, as well. If, if, especially if, you, if you're used to taking care of others and not putting yourself first and recognizing like you deserve some 
some self-love and some me time as well. So good on you for that. <laughs> mm. Should we do one? Do you want to do one? Or should I do one? Do I'll do one, one more. One more. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. We love you. And by the way, this person, you have to work tomorrow, so you're staying up late. Mm -hmm. I know who you are. We know. We know. <laughs> we read the email. It's like, yes. and I want to reply to everyone. Like we always, it's it's hard because there's so many, you know. But I want you guys to know, like we we do read them. We and, do. Um, so we hear you and we see you, and it's really appreciated. Thank you. Okay, go on, I'll move off the stage. Okay. <laughs> uh, so this one is saying, well, I hope you guys are well and having an amazing week so far. Thank you. Um, I let go of regret, self-hatred, and insecurity. Exactly what I was talking about. I fly towards self-confidence, hope, ambition, and strength. All amazing things that we all need to be going towards. So, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Right? Um, I want to share what I'm going yes, towards. I got asked that. Because I thought about it because we were talking about this. And um, I think I want to let go of anxiety, anxious thoughts, uh, overthinking, and going towards being in the present moment. Because that is huge and it's a hard one, I think, for, for everyone to master being in the present moment and meditating and just practicing that, being grateful of every moment we have. So that's a huge one for me, uh, letting go of that anxious anxiety. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's mine. Uh, thank you, Paula. <laughs> thank you, Rebecca. So yeah, guys, let's let go of the self-hatred and start loving ourselves <laughs> and lifting each other up. Loving each other! And loving each other! <laughs> lifting each other up! And going into a new chapter. Yeah! Bye, 2020! Bye! <laughs> See you! <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Okay. And I got asked the same thing, so I'm mm. going oh, to... Oh yes, share say, yours. I'm going to share mine. Um, I got asked what... Um, and um, we'll keep going with the poems, guys. Don't worry. But I got asked also, what am I letting go of? What am I going toward? Um, thank you. I am letting go of uh, the pain of past and also the transition that we can't change. Um, the things in life that we are not able to alter. And also the frustrations and all the confusion. That's what I'm trying to let go of, guys. Now, it's not easy. I'm not saying it's happening. But those are the things. Um, it's been so hard. But then I'm also moving toward understanding and acceptance and embracing change. And knowing that we can't, we can't affect every single element in the world. But the people that we can affect, that we should make it a positive effect. And that you do have power. And that power is in the people that are right around you, the love that we share. And that includes you guys, because um, doing these shows isn't something that, as you know, a lot of people do and we didn't do before. But we've connected with you and we read your stories. And I have an absolute deep gratitude for all of you, all of life. And uh, that's what I'm moving toward, learning, just learning and letting go. So... I love you all, and let's get back to the poetry and the flowers <laughs> and the positivity. Yes. This is about to make me cry, y'all. And uh, <laughs> Joseph, yeah. bring your gorgeous silky locks into frame. <laughs> oh boy! Isn't it getting long, guys? I know the long it's hair. Nice, right? All of our hair is getting long. Yeah, this pandemic. The, the only pandemic. thing it's been good for is not being able to get a blowout. Yeah, you just. <laughs> Keep the hair natural Just and keep healthy. growing it. Okay. Happy spring. Happy, happy spring. Now we will have more beautiful spring message and maybe more art. Oh, yeah. Um, and here, yeah, okay, I'm looking at all your comments for a second. I do have a poem here. Um, yeah, I would say I, I want to let go of um, being 
affected by um, the, like comparing myself to, to other people. I want to let go of that idea because every one of us is on our own journey, you know, and, and if we truly embrace that journey and let go of any comparisons and any pain associated with that, I think we can live a richer and more rewarding life. So um, that would be what I let go of and I want to move towards adventure and the unknown and, and I want to face it unafraid. So there you go. I've got a poem for you here. Um, it's called Young Lambs by John Clare. The spring is coming by a many signs. The trays are up, the hedges broken down. That fence, the haystack, and the remnant shines like some old antique fragment weathered brown. And where suns peep in every sheltered place, the little early buttercups unfold, a glittering star or two till many trace, the edges of the blackthorn clumps in gold. And then a little lamb bolts up behind the hill and wags his tail to meet the earl, and then another, sheltered from the wind, lies all his length as dead and lets me go. Close by and never stirs but baking lies, with legs stretched out as though he could not rise. sad at the end of that one, isn't it? It's quite beautiful words though. Really uh, impressive. I was really moved by some of your guys' letters as well, you know. Um, really kind of amazing stuff. So, I think we've got time probably for one more poem, have we? That's a good time. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. What? Yeah, one more, oh gosh, one more poem, so, okay. and then perhaps we can show a little of this, and then we have that. That's our secret code to do with the show. A little of this, some of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Okay, this is by D.H. Lawrence. This is great, this one. This is called The Enkindled Spring. This spring, as it comes, bursts up in bonfires green. Wild puffing of emerald trees and flame-filled bushes. Thorn blossom lifting in wreaths of smoke between. Where the wood fumes up and the watery flickering rushes. I am amazed at this spring, this conflagration of green fires lit on the soil of the earth, this blaze of growing and sparks that puff in wild gyration, faces of people streaming across my gaze. And I, what fountain of fire am I among? This leaping combustion of spring, my spirit is tossed about like a shadow buffeted in the throng of flames, a shadow that's gone astray and is lost. So, it looks like we only have 12 seconds left of the show. But we'll do a little encore, I think. Should we do an encore, or do you guys, Just are you guys brief, ready to go? Because it's brief, Sunday. Just a brief encore before we all... You've got to get to bed. Go our separate ways. <laughs>
brief encore. What do you say, like, just a couple We're minutes. already into the encore. Just a few minutes. Oh, just, just a did few it. more now minutes. Now you did it. Now <laughs> oh, you've done it. <laughs> Gone and done it. Um, okay. I would like to show some of this wonderful... Sorry? Yes. Perfect. This is from one of our last oh, yeah. shows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we have a store, for those of you who don't know, it's the morganwhitestore.com, right? Yeah. Or morganwhitestore.com. Is there a the? Yeah, the? Morgan Just morganwhitestore.com. And we've got some terrific merch on there. A lot of it is and from paintings. Some of you are wearing the merch today, I heard. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Anyway, so. here's a piece of merch that we've got that I really like. This is a pillow. And it is... Uh, oh, it's a travel pillow. It's a travel pillow, and it's taken from some art that we did for the Valentine's show. See? And on the other side... How cool is that? Oh, yeah. And it's really show how soft. You, you want to show You how. can crush it down. And you can... And you can fall asleep. Fall asleep like that. Like that. There you go. <laughs> and uh, here is... Oh, no, I want More to show pillows. this one. More Yeah. Here's, oh, this one's funny. This here's one's this funny, one. That one's yeah. unavailable. It's okay. unavailable, this one? This one is unavailable because I, I wanted this one just for myself to sleep next to. <laughs> <laughs> myself. <laughs> myself. <laughs> Nothing like looking yourself in the eyes when you wake up. And when Joseph's out of town on a show, I can be like... <laughs> My giant head is And look at this. Her. Three of us get along perfectly. We do. It's yeah. a match made in <laughs> He heaven. lets me have male friends. It's true. We're a great thruple. Uh, so... What else do we have here? Oh, this yeah, this is actually a, a beautiful one, which is, again, from the, art show. From the Valentine's store. From the Valentine's show, I mean. Yeah, Available I mean, we did the, the store. art back here. Yeah. And we've made it a print, which is And look, on the and other side, of course. Our signature hand print. That's right. With the pink dot. That is it. And then we got the blanket. And it looks like uh, <laughs> I'm being tucked in for the night now, guys. A hooded blanket. This is Joseph's. Mm -hmm. And look, it's Joseph's handprint. Show that it has a hood. And you know what's cool? It's Joseph's handprint, but look how it's big it is. Handprint. It's, it's massive. my thumbprint in the middle. It's so really soft. You can get cozy. into my bank accounts and stuff with that guy. Oh, God. And <laughs> Unlock her iPhone. And Joseph. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and Joseph's handprint. Wait, show that. It's hooded. hooded. This is the coolest yeah. part. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Nautic. Elfin kind named That's right. Mecca. Look at that. That's oh, yeah. The Mecca I love white. this one. You know, Nordic. what this is perfect for is to uh, wear when you're sitting around a fire pit or something like that. Right now, it's watching bright. the originals and you're on your couch. You're cozied up on your couch. You're thinking, what should I watch? <laughs> Joseph wears this a lot, actually. Do, yeah. <laughs> Running up because of the blanket. He was like, oh my God, it's time. Lots of blankets. Has a cuddle. He loves a cuddle. That's his voice, yeah. by the way. <laughs> it's British. Oh, he is he's British. from Yorkshire, he's so a Yorkshire terrier. we give him a Yorkshire He should be northern, really. But, oh, uh, sorry. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we're going to be posting the videos of people on our stories yeah. later, um, which will be... Uh, today? Today, yeah, later today. So you get to see a few more videos of, of people, what they're letting go of and, and so on. Um, we can also play it. We could, I think it's not right when it's clear. over, yeah. though. But we'll turn the lights off and we can end off with it. Oh, okay. Okay. So then to end off, I think we'll play a few of the videos now behind me. Or would you guys like. Yeah, let's do that. Right? Okay. All right. Okay. I wanted, to, wanted to see what their uh, comments were, too. Oh, yeah, sure. Is that all right? Sure. Ooh. Can you say hi, Sally? We Hi. just did. <laughs> oh, it's over. I did it. <laughs> she did it already. But um, it's kind of like... Can I buy Kingston? No. Absolutely oh. not. <laughs> no. Kingston is not for sale. New Orleans. Oh, my gosh. I wonder how many countries are here. Yeah, so many countries. And Thank then... you guys so much for coming. We truly appreciate it. Um, it's been great. A lot of poetry this time. I yeah. hope you feel... Uh, cultured because I certainly oh you're from Dublin I have a song that's, that's from Sinead O'Connor um that's called uh Troy that it's one of our favorite songs oh yeah and it's, it's a beautiful. rainstorm in Dublin that's the beginning line mm, lovely um okay 
What else is going on? Hi, Canada. And we Hi, made it earlier Canada. so that we could stay up with you guys. Uh, we made it earlier and then we were late. But only 15 <laughs> minutes, not two hours, so wow. that's good. Yeah. But look at the hair. What's that we got to we do tried with to look very <laughs> spring for you, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was saying it was his hair. I blame it all on Joseph. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. When in doubt. Very good. Very good. Hello from Greece. Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland is here. Oh. And so we have some people we were going to mention that we um, heard from our team at the store have been really sweet. Like Crystal, is it? Mm -hmm. Crystal's been really sweet. And we did autographs for a bunch of you um, on yeah. cards. And we just want you to know you guys are just so sweet. And the warlock is here. <gasps> <laughs> and um it's been really great it's been really fun hearing from all yeah. of you yeah hi italy oh my gosh and of course england is here we've got so many people from england in the I video know, it's, it's uh, been really kind of great yeah so great these are the late night folks yeah is Anna christina here yeah i saw her earlier anna christina's here yeah oh nice annalise abby jordan yeah so okay so i think we're gonna play a little video now uh so we're gonna i'm gonna turn out the lights and we're gonna prepare a video of a few people saying what they're letting go of and like i said we are going to be posting some of this on our stories later so one second Can you move the mic in? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, ready? Here we are. Wait a minute. I let go of fear and anxiety, and I fly towards being kind to everyone. I fly towards strength, ambition, hope, and confidence. I fly towards seeing animals at night eating new fresh grass and green leaves from the trees. Long walks with only a t-shirt and all the different colors from flowers coming back to life again after the winter. I fly towards happiness, success, and above all, love. I'm flying toward the beautiful things that are still to come no matter what my situation i want to fly towards a positive better future for me and my kids i fly towards things that'll make me a better person 2020 was tough for everybody and it really made everyone dig down deep it made me realize that i have to be able to let go of things that i can't control and uh, the one thing that i absolutely can is myself so that's what I'm flying towards. And I embrace new challenges and new relations. What I'm embracing is just really enjoying moments with my family and friends. I'm also embracing who I am. You welcome the warm and happy moments. I'm embracing new beginnings and new people. I will really embrace love and happiness. I'm 
letting go of anxiety and embracing the little things. I will leave behind all the bad times and I will pick up the good vibes. Um, but we really it's hard to see through here, but yeah. Yeah, we just wanted to sh show it as part of the show. Yeah. Anyway, happy spring, everyone. Spring. Yes. And we're sending you loads of love. Loads of love. Loads of love. And just hold on to your hearts and stretch your wings. Brush the dirt off. It's time. It's time to have a new beginning. And, and we hope that your hearts can be happy and filled because we all need each other. That's the mm -hmm. thing about this world. I think we've learned it's we're more connected than we thought. Yeah. All right, guys. We love you. Love you. Happy spring. Love. Happy spring. Happy spring.